In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the ear speaker on the iPhone 12 mini. Begin by powering down the device. Then take a pentalobe screwdriver and remove the two star-shaped screws from the bottom of the phone, either side of the lightning port. You will need to warm up the edges of the phone. To do this, I'm going to use a heat gun. You can, however, use a hairdryer or a heat mat if you have one. But basically, we need to make the phone warm to the touch to soften the adhesive that holds down the screen. Once that's heated, we're going to take a Dorco blade and we're going to insert it in the gap or to create a gap between the edge of the screen and chassis of the phone. And then we're going to push backwards on it just like this until the screen pops out. It's worth noting that the screens on this model are quite difficult to remove. So just take your time and make sure that it's really nice and warm. Once it's popped out that little bit, we can pry it back like that. And then add a couple of drops of isopropyl alcohol to soften the adhesive a little bit more before taking a plastic utopic, creating a larger gap, and then first of all, running it along the right hand edge, only inserting it a couple of millimeters back on itself and along the bottom edge, and then along this left hand edge separating the screen from the chassis. Once you've worked your way along the three edges, you're going to lift it up a little bit from the bottom, wiggle it from side to side a touch, and you might need the pick to help you at this point, just to pry it out and open it up like opening a book. Now that we're into the phone, it's a good idea to use a sturdy weighted object like a mug, just to hold the screen up to free up your hands and not let the flex cables break by flopping over. Next, we're going to remove the screen on this phone. So take a tri-wing screwdriver, and remove the single tri-wing screw that holds down this shield. Then lift up the shield and sort of slide it out using some tweezers. It is hooked underneath a couple of little brackets here and here. So just be aware of that. And once that's removed, we can disconnect the battery using a plastic spudger, followed by the single flex cable for the screen connector. Moving up to the top of the phone now, there's another five tri-wing screws holding down a shield that needs to be removed before we can remove the final flex cable attached to the screen. Use tweezers to lift up the shield and then disconnect this connector just here. So with that detached, we can now remove the screen. To remove the ear speaker now, we're gonna remove the two tri-wing screws from the left-hand side of the speaker. So this one and this one. Then we can get the crosshead screwdriver and remove the two on the right hand side just here with those removed we're going to just lift it up and unfold it like that so as you can see we've got these two small points here these are the solder points that hold the ear speaker in place before we remove those i'm just going to run underneath it with my tweezers just to make sure that there's no adhesive holding it down the easiest way to remove these is to get the tweezers just underneath between the ear speaker and the flex cable. And then we're just going to touch those solder points to lift it out and separate the flex from the speaker. Now that it's removed, we can just lift the rest of the flex cable off like that and pull out our broken ear speaker. Now that that speaker's removed, we're going to get a new speaker now. And first of all, you need to make sure that there's a little bit of solder on those points there. If there's not, then you might need to add some on. And then we're just gonna line it up, make sure that it's in place. And then using the tweezers to apply, apply a bit of pressure onto the solder joint, we can just touch it again to melt the solder, securing it into place like that. Now that that's reattached, we can fold it over Resecure the screws, remembering that the crosshead screws are on the right side, here and here, and the two tri-wing screws on the left-hand side, the larger of which goes on the bottom. Now that that's swapped out, we need to replace the dust and moisture resistant seal around the edge of the chassis. The easiest way to do this is to use one of these number four X-Acto blades, and we're just gonna run it along the edge, being careful not to damage any components removing as much of the gunk that's left behind as possible. This is by far the worst part of the repair and on the iPhone 12 series onwards the adhesive tends to be a lot more sticky than any other model that Apple have released. 
Once the thick of the adhesive is removed, then we can apply a little bit of isopropyl alcohol along the edge. And then we're gonna use a little brush just to clean off any of the remaining gunk, dust and debris that's left behind. It's really important to make a very clean surface for the new adhesive to stick to. So really make sure that you get this right. Now we can get the new adhesive sealed and we're going to peel off the backing film. We can start by lining it up in the top left corner, run it along this left hand edge and then the rest should follow suit all the way around. Use the plastic spudger to secure it down into place and then we can peel off the last layer of the film. Now that we've got our dust and moisture resistant seal installed, we can offer up our screen, starting with the cable for the display and touch. Then I like to use tweezers to make sure that the flex cable for the ear speaker gets it reattached properly before reinstalling the shield and the five tri-wing screws that hold that down. With those re-secured, we can reattach the battery now, followed by that shield. Remember to make sure that it clips underneath the little brackets. And then that one is secured down by the single tri-wing screw. You can now fold close the phone, making sure that we do the same in reverse as we did when we opened it, making sure it's in at the top first, and then squeezing it in along the edges. And finally, the two pentalobe screws can go into the bottom of the device now. Resecure those with the pentalobe screwdriver. And now power on the device. That just about completes this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.